Hey Alexa, play some Christmas music. Alexa, play Christmas music. I couldn't find any Christmas songs. What? Oh no. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day. What? I am so excited. I've been seriously planning this since October. I wrote out like a bunch of different ideas that I wanted to do for Vlogmas and here I am. So this is my Christmas tree. Say hi Christmas tree. Today we are going to be decorating my Christmas tree and answering some questions that you guys posted for me on Facebook. So let's jump right in. So I'm gonna start unpacking. Ugh. So these are all of the ornaments that my mom has given to me throughout the years. She does an ornament every single year for Christmas. So there's at least 27 ornaments in here. There might be more. So she always got me a Hallmark collectible. So these are really cool ornaments and I love putting them up on my tree because they always bring back so many cute memories. So I'm gonna unwrap these and then I'm gonna go onto my Facebook page and pull up all of the questions that you guys had for me. So the first question was from my mom, of course. She's so cute. She said, how do you always find great and unique gifts for everyone? That is a good question, Kathy. I do pride myself on giving really great gifts and so much so that on Friday, I will be putting out a vlog specifically on gift giving and I will name it Gift Giving 101 so that you can know some of my secrets and insights into giving perfect gifts. And she did not know I was doing that vlog. So it wasn't just like she commented because she knew that I was gonna make a vlog about it. She actually wanted to know. All right, Kayla Barrows, this girl. She said, have you ever peed in the woods? And then her and my aunt, Lori, both of them asked this question and I am not entirely sure why they asked this question. Have you ever peed in the woods? But I'm just gonna go ahead and answer it because no shame in my game. Yes, I have peed in the woods before. I'm pretty sure the only time that I have, I was camping, so it was warranted. It wasn't just like randomly popping a squat in the middle of some random woods. Anyways, all right, moving on. The next question is from my friend Cassie Havelo. He said, what made you wanna do your vlogs and how did you learn to do them? So I learned by myself, I am self-taught how to edit and everything and post. I use Google a lot, they are my best friend. I got started for a couple of reasons. The first reason was I made a job search about a year and a half ago. I was working in marketing for a small business and in that job, I was doing something creative like every single day. I absolutely loved it. And I had a lot of freedom to create multiple different things for that company. And then I switched jobs and went into medical sales, which I absolutely adore. I think it's the perfect job for me. However, with that job change, I lost a lot of like that creative outlet so I had been looking for something to kind of do for fun in a creative way to kind of like take my creativity and put it in a different outlet so I was on Instagram one day saw Liza Koshy who if, if you don't know who she is you are definitely missing out I think she's like the top woman vlogger or youtuber she's absolutely hilarious and I saw her and I'm like she looked so familiar and then I remembered that I saw her on vine and then I started watching all of her videos and realized that she she, when Vine died, she made the switch from Vine to YouTube and now is making like buku bucks doing YouTube. So I was like, this is so interesting. So then I started looking at her boyfriend's YouTube and his name is David Dobrik. And that's where I found like my inspiration is because David just vlogs like his friends all the time and they come out to be like the most hilarious videos. And I just looked at like what he was doing and I'm like, I could do that in my own way. I love that. So I decided that I wanted to make a YouTube page and I didn't know like the exact genre that I wanted to make, but I did know that I wanted to do a little bit of beauty. I didn't want to do only beauty because it's so heavily saturated on YouTube, but I also wanted to do like my lifestyle and the things that I encounter, like shopping with my sister last weekend. I don't know if you guys thought that was funny, but that was hilarious to me. And I just love sharing that with other people and like seeing what their reactions are. I just feel like I have a lot of great ideas. So I am going to put it out there and if people like it great if you don't 
that's fine too but this really is fun for me and I absolutely love doing it okay next question Kelsey Pachel wrote do you love me and do you miss me yes to both I love you dearly I have since I was like five years old and I miss you a lot all right Kelly asked how do you deal with my brother on a daily basis after 24 years I still can't figure him out so that's Kevin's sister Kelly that's actually funny I don't know Kevin and I just literally go together like peanut butter and jelly he he puts up with my craziness and I put up with his and I think that's just what makes us like a really great couple is that we can deal with each other's personalities so I don't really know how to answer that I don't know we're just a cute couple okay oh and then she said but seriously what's the best gift to give someone who has everything or wants quote-unquote nothing and I'm gonna defer to my first question from my mom and say that I will answer that question in my vlog on Friday because I want to talk about this in an entire vlog because I have so much to say around gift giving I absolutely love giving gifts it gives me so much pleasure and happiness so I will answer that question on Friday Kel Bell next question Alex White he posted this just out of obligation because I told all my friends to ask me a question and he did his due diligence so he asked do you prefer crunchy or soft tacos excellent question and I'm surprised you don't know this since we go out to Mexican all the time but I love soft tacos and then Allie Tunacliffe, she is my sorority sister. She said, if you could have lunch with one person dead or alive, who would it be? And what would you eat slash drink? I have always said, no matter what, the one person that I would love to meet dead or alive is my, she would be my great grandma Maureen. And it's my mom's mom's mom. So my grandma's mom. I have heard like nothing but amazing things about her. And my mom and my grandma both think that she is my guardian angel, which I truly believe as well. I just think that she was such an amazing person and I honestly cannot wait until I go to heaven, fingers crossed that I go to heaven to meet her because I just, I have like such high hopes and dreams that she's gonna be like this angel, which she probably is. If I could meet one person, it would definitely be her. And what would I eat? I would make my grandma, Nene, I would make her make us spaghetti because my grandma's spaghetti literally Literally the best spaghetti I've ever had in my life and so I would have her make us spaghetti and then my mom and my grandma and her would all sit around the table and chat for hours that would be like the best ever that's such a great question and then Allie also asked go to drink over the holidays my go-to drink over the holidays is definitely red wine but I also have been drinking blue moon lately which I'll drink blue moon summer winter fall spring whatever but I think that those two make me feel so full and like I'm ready for a nap after Afterwards that I just love it during the winter. <laughs> okay, so my cousin Haley asked who is your favorite cousin and then my her twin sister my cousin Lindsay asked good question Which I love them so much and I wish that we lived closer. They both live in Texas. So my favorite cousin is going to be All of them and I am not gonna choose one because you can't make me I love all of my cousins and then my BFF Kathleen said, if you were to take a tequila shot with either a lime or salt, which would you choose? Oh, that is such a good question. I think that I've done it before with just salt, so I know that it's possible, but if I had to choose, I'd probably stay with salt. Uh, Jordan Hill asked, do you consider the thumb a finger? Uh, yeah. And then, okay, so then back to Kelsey, and then she said, in all seriousness, did you really steal my beanie baby in kindergarten? Oh my God, I cannot tell you how many times she has asked me this throughout the years. No, I did not steal your beanie baby in kindergarten. Ugh, after all we've been through, how dare you accuse me of that? Oh, I love this question. Audra McMahon said, why now? My only answer to that is because now is all that we have. I truly believe in that. And then Wendy said meow, and my answer is meow. I did have a couple other questions on Instagram. I think the only one was from my baby sister. Yeah, the only one from her was who's your favorite sibling? And then she said, hint, there is only one correct answer. So she is looking for me to say her. But I seriously, I seriously cannot pick a favorite sibling. I, my siblings are the greatest. I have four, so I have three half sisters and one brother. So I have two older sisters that are both, I think like 11 and 12 years older than me. And then Sammy, my 
my little sister is 12 years younger than me and then Matt my real brother like my biological brother is two years younger than me so we all are like all over the place but like I said in my last video you would never know that we had such an age difference because we all relate to each other so well and we always have a great time so that is that so I think those are all of the questions now the tree is looking a little sparse it only has one strand of lights on it because Kevin and I when we were going to put the lights on the other night we realized that two of the other sets of lights were dead so I haven't been out to buy new sets of lights for it but I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and then the other normal balls that I have and then once I get back from traveling then I will put them back on because I like a good lit up tree she's looking a little bare and sad but that's okay ready and go She's literally just staring at me and sitting so pretty. Wanna say hi? Say hi. Oh, good girl. San Francisco. Hey Alexa, play some Christmas music. Alexa, play Christmas music. I couldn't find any Christmas songs. What? Alexa, play Christmas music. I couldn't find any Christmas songs. Alexa, play holiday music. I couldn't find any holiday songs. What the hell? You did the other day. Do you want to show everyone our Christmas decorations? Look at those ears! Okay, so these are our Christmas decorations so far. I think it looks pretty good. I got this super cute garland from Michaels and then these little reindeer from Hobby Lobby. Also got those candles and candle holders from Hobby Lobby as well. Happy holidays. We have a cute little tree from Michaels, candle from Bath and Body Works and then a vintage Santa from my grandma. And down here we have some candle holders that I need to put candles in, and then a cute little snowman so that's about it I also got this Merry Christmas placard so that we can count down the days until Christmas so right now I think today is the fourth so there's gonna be 21 days until Christmas and then I got this super cute garland across the banister yeah I got this wreath from Michaels I believe. So that's about it. Besides that mess down there, that's what it looks like. And Lara, she's ready to go outside. I hope you guys liked watching me put together my cute little tree for Christmas. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to follow along with my videos for Vlogmas, click the subscribe button below and I will be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you then. Goodbye!